So here's how you can fake it for a minute. At the end of this, we're gonna get this new fake Hoffman installed. What we're gonna use is a pipe tap kit, quarter inch, 18 threads per inch, and it's MPT. Uh, so it's tapered uh, with this tap real carefully. I guess we pretty much get one shot, otherwise we're gonna have to make a bigger hole. So I'm gonna check the tap just to make sure that it's the right size. And then the drill bit that they give you is just a little bit smaller. It looks like that'll shave out what we need. Drill bit fits in real nice. And since we don't have any lubricant to use here, and we really don't want to use any lubricant, we're doing some good back and forths. Uh, we're not using any power tools. And I'm just letting the tap really do the work, uh, making sure the tap doesn't break off or anything horrible like that. If the tap breaks off, then um, it'll be even harder. Just gonna have to get the tap out before we do another tap. Looks like I got two or three threads built so far. Totally feel it catching now, but it's not deep enough really. Only two or three threads. So these next ones are gonna be a little harder to cut. It looks like we may have gotten some of the crap out. We pulled out some threadings, basically. The bushing that was in there, the old steel bushing, has just responded to the tap by disintegrating and removing itself. So we're gonna try and get that out. You see if the original threads are intact, they look like they are. It actually appears to be in good shape aside from one little notch right there where the light is shining clockwise. I'm going for a little extra tape on this because I don't know what I'm dealing with. And air vents really are just hand tight. So get all that thread sealant on there. It's gonna move pretty deep into the hole. Ooh, that initial air movement. All right, we got heat coming out. And you give it a little bit of time and just make sure that there are no leaks.